Mockups are essential for any design project. But what are mockups exactly? It's a realistic visualization of what your product or design would look like in the real world. It's really important to put your designs on mockups to give viewers a better understanding of how your designs would actually look like without fully committing to the production process. This helps others visualize it, sell your design, and it just really elevates your projects, making it look more professional. Mockups are commonly in forms of Photoshop files that you can just plug in your designs, but it doesn't leave any room to actually customize it or view it as a 3D render. But what if I told you there's actually a platform that solves this problem? Allowing us designers to easily create 3D mockups that you can view at all different angles. You can even customize the sizing of your mockup, create custom die lines for your packaging, render your mockups as video animations, and you can create different lifestyle scenes for your design. Let me walk you through the platform. So if you go to packdora.com, you'll see that their UI interface when you first land is really intuitive and simple to navigate. There's three main things you can do, which is mockup generator, the 3D modeling software to generate lifestyle scenes and then create custom templates and die lines for your packages. And if you've ever, ever created a die line from scratch, like I have, you would know how much of a frustrating process it is to do it from scratch. So having templates and getting to customize it is life-changing. And then if you keep scrolling, you'll see they have all these different mockups for different categories, which I appreciate them being very organized with this. Then you can see they have also packaging die lines here and then the 3D modeling software where you can generate your designs in different scenes, which is really, really cool. And the cool thing is you never have to leave the browser platform. Like you can do all of this within Pactora. So I wanna generate more packaging mockups for this recent branding project I finished. I wanna generate my mockups, but specifically point of sale packaging. So for example, I'm drinking Celsius right now, but I always see point of sale packaging from Celsius whenever I walk into like my local grocery store. As you can see, there's a lot of different like activations that you can do, but these are just marketing displays that you would find in stores to attract customers to buy the products. So with drinks like this, they usually sell them in like a pack of like 12 or something. So I wanna create a box that's kind of similar to selling in a pack. So I'm gonna go to the box mockups. As you can see, it is organized by hashtags and just depending what I'm looking for, I can just find it within this category. So. What I'm looking for is display box. And as you can see, there's just so many different like display boxes I could choose from, but I'm gonna do something simple and I'm probably gonna go with, let's do this one. So when you click it, it takes you into the 3D view of how the package would look. And you can view it from all angles, as you can see, very, very cool. You can also see how the box opens up and closes which is like, what the heck, extra, extra great. So with my project, I have four different flavors. So I wanna sell like a variety pack and put four of these cans into this box. Currently, it looks like I can only probably fit like three cans. So I wanna customize the size of this display box, which you can freaking do inside Pagdora. So I actually don't know the exact measurements, but I'm going to eyeball it and just mess around with the measurements. I don't know, what is that gonna look like? As you can see, it updates it really quick. Um, that still looks like, I feel like I need to make the length like 22. So I'm literally just eyeballing shit here. Looking pretty good, okay, okay. I don't know if it needs to be that high. I just do okay let's do it like yeah this size looks more like it within back door you can also customize the material like between flute and white cardboard box look at that freaking cool once you have the size that you want you can download the die line file so that you can plug in your artwork and then upload it so when you open the illustrator file look at that it has the die lines with your custom measurements and all the info right here, including the bleed, the trim, the crease. So you don't have to worry about that. And then you can just design your package within Illustrator and then re-upload it to Backdora. You can also design your mockup within Backdora. So if I wanted to design it within the browser, I just click it. You can design the outside and the inside within this platform. They even have like elements and inspiration patterns and things like that that you can pull from if you need you know some extra 
assistance with the design. So just to save some time, I actually already designed the inside and outside and I'm just going to upload it onto Pactora. So I'm just gonna upload the outside and inside design. So here's the outside. And then I'm just going to resize it so that it get matches. Yep, right about there. And then it updates it in real time. And like, look, how freaking cool is that? Okay, now I need to upload the inside design. So I'm gonna add images again. I'm just gonna switch over to the inside tab here and then add this, hit save. It renders it very, very quickly. As you can see, oh my God, this looks beautiful. I really like how it's looking. If I was to go in the video section, I could download a video version of the, the package actually like animating. I could view it as like a rotation. Like there's just so many different animations they have here. I think these are super, super cool. Whoa. Here's this one. There's like a close up one. Okay. Period. And there's an advanced tab. Okay, I guess the advanced tab is coming soon, but I'm really excited to see what other animations that they have. You can also change the background color. You can do gradients and stuff. If you wanna, you know, have the background, you can have it transparent. I'm actually gonna download a transparent background from Dish Angle. Super export and export it as a PNG in 4K. You can also, you know, customize the sizing, uh, but I'm just gonna do a one, one ratio PNG version as a 4K. Make sure it's high quality. And then while that's downloading, I'm going to create some mockups of the can with this angle. So we're gonna go back to mockups. Now I wanna download an aluminum can so I can put my designs on the mockup. So I'm going into the cans and jars tab and let's go can mockup here. Now what I wanna do is get some video animations of the can and let's do this one here. So to save time, I already downloaded this die line and put my artwork on there. So I'm going to upload them. First one, we're gonna do suits. View it from here, look at that. Now I'm gonna hit save. And what, look at that, that looks so good, y'all. So something I wanna change is the shininess because I think it's a bit too glossy for this brand's aesthetic. So I'm actually gonna go into custom material here. And in here you can actually freaking mess around with the textures, the way the metal is presenting itself, all that good jazz. So like the lid, I can customize. The pool tab, the freaking pool tab, y'all, you can customize. I'm looking for the surface. So the surface is a bit too shiny for my preference. So we're actually gonna, okay, adjust it here. Oh, it's the roughness. So I wanna go for a more matte texture. All right, look at that, look at him. He's beautiful, oh my gosh. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and plugged in my artwork on the can die line, so all I just need to do is upload all of them. All right, now we're gonna download the same angle for all of them, so. Now let's make a little video animation with these. So I'm gonna download the basic rotating one here. And I want a transparent background because I don't know what kind of background I want yet. Now I want to show you how to generate the 3D lifestyle scenes. So if you click this more tab, there's a section called 3D modeling software here. So if you click that, it's actually going to open up a new tab and it's going to take you into this new 3D view with shadows, lighting, and the 3D plane. And you can actually, you know, scale and transform your item accordingly which is really awesome. If you look over here, you can see there's a lot of different scenes that you can click and it's going to very quickly generate your product into those scenes. And on top of that, you can move each of these items and size them individually. It doesn't have to, you know, stay in one place. You can rotate it, you know, move it. But yeah, there's sphere scenes. And then you can go ahead and change the colors of what these spheres look like. There's even like environmental scenes. This one is dark water rave. And then there here are some like more leafy greenery sceneries. You can also even replace the shape. So let's say I didn't want this cube and I actually wanted a cylinder. 
bam and of course it's too tall so i'm going to make it a little smaller i think this is really cool there's nature's stone wood snow mountain universe like i don't know they've gotten very creative with these scenes but you can literally place your product anywhere and it's going to generate the scene for you and they've got all these different art directions and moods so you don't have to actually make these from scratch or you know mock these up in photoshop like it's just really fascinating to see the possibilities of all these scenes that they have for y'all i could spend hours in here and then here's another tab where you can again change background like the other and then there's a lighting tab where you can actually change the lighting of these things and in the lighting tab there's an advanced tab where you can freaking change the lighting angles y'all that's insane If you want to try out Pandora for yourself, you can use my code DINA for 20% off your subscription. They have two tiers of pricing. If you want to do it monthly, it's $29 a month, but yearly is going to save you a lot more money, which is only $17 a month. That's 43% off versus if you were just to do monthly. But you get unlimited exports and use of their whole platform. This is such a simple, easy, and great way to really elevate your projects using mockups. You bet that I'm going to be utilizing these in my own design projects. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.